Hey guys, I want to go through and give you guys um, a few more videos on some of the things that I've assigned because usually we would do these in class and I would be able to uh, lead them on the board. Um, but right up, what I have up here is the bending light FET simulation that I gave you guys. Here is the worksheet um, right here. So I'm going to write um, or type into this and you can follow along if you'd like. Um, you can also just write the answers if you label them, you know, or number them, you can go through um, and write your answers on a separate sheet of paper as well as you go through this. Um, I'd like it if you wrote the questions down, like this would be the questions here. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have them split screen, so I'm going to have the FET simulation and then the little lab paper here. All right, so we're going to go into intro. It says here to go to the following. So you can actually click this. If you bring up either the, um, the PDF that I posted, you should be able to click on this link and it will take you, it will actually take you to this page. Um, and then you can click on this. It is a, a Java file. So it might tell you that you need to enable Java or um, Adobe. All right, so then you're going to click intro uh, when the simulator opens in front of you. You should notice a laser pointing at a 45 degree angle laser right here, pointing at a 45 degree angle downward to the right. Look to the window, to the right of the window, notice that there are two information boxes explaining the medians that are shown on the screen. What are the two medians? So that's the material here. The medians, if you remember back from your wave notes, that's kind of what the light um, must go through. So a lot of those waves, including, well, not necessarily including light, light can travel without a median, but hence why it travels in space from our sun. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write what the two mediums are there posted. Um, it is air and it is water. So I'm going to write air. I was supposed to capitalize that, air and water. Okay. Um, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to, um, actually, I want to put my answers in red if you guys don't mind. That way it's easier to see. Um, if you are doing some of these assignments and you are utilizing them um, on an Adobe file or you're writing them on a Word doc, if you guys could put your answers in red, um, there we go. Um, that helps me see it so that way I can differentiate between your answers and what the question is. All right, so click on the red button. That's this red button on the laser. What two things does the light do as it hits the surface of the water? So when it hits the surface of the water, we've got this little bit of light that goes up here, and we've got this little bit, um, or we've got more of this light that goes through the water. But if you look, it's not quite and a straight line. There is a little bit of a bend. It's why if you were to have a glass of water um, and you put it on the desk in front of you and you dropped your pencil in there, this is the reason what we're going to learn about today is the reason why that pencil isn't straight as you look through the side of the, the glass. All right. So what two things does the light do as it hits the surface? So for you guys, you don't need to know the fancy terminology, although they do listed right there and it is on the previous screen. Um, so you guys can use um, any type of language that you know. Okay, so um, I know you guys might said it looks like it it bounces against the water or you guys will probably use the term it reflects on the water. So the first thing is that it does reflect against the water. And two, the other thing it does is that it does kind of create this little bend. So this is definitely an important thing to notice that it does, right? Bend, the light bends. You can say it doesn't enter the water straight, so the light bends as it enters the water. And that's appropriate, all right? So that's that little bend. I know it's kind of really indescript, but it is there. Um, so on the bottom side of the simulation window, window, okay, you should notice two tools available for you. Uh, select the bottom tool. This is going to be a magnifying glass and move it into the general water uh, area. 
Okay, so take this lens, this is what we're talking about, and drag it directly over the light coming from the laser before. Okay, so this is the light coming before it hits the water. Okay, notice that you can measure the intensity of the light when the lens is placed over the beam. Fill in the table below. So right here, I'm going to say the beam of light before it hits it. So our intensity here is 100. That's 1,000. 100%. Okay. So that's what they're asking for in this box. So it's 5 and 6. Okay. I'm sorry. It's actually 5 through 7. My box moved. All right. Uh, then we're going to move the lens out of the way and select the protractor from uh, the toolbox. Okay, place the protractor um, over the vertical dotted line so that the dotted line runs straight through zero. Confirm that the laser is coming in. So what we're going to do is we're going to confirm that this line right here is coming from the laser at a 45 degree angle. Okay, let's see if we want to... To get that straight. So this is 30, this is 60, that would make this little knob right here 10, this would make this little tiny one 5. Okay, so technically, if we did that right, we should end up with the light coming out there. Okay, so that would be 45. You can also do it another way, which is that you can kind of find this dot right here on the middle and see. So that would be 45. So this is 40, 45. So we can go ahead and note that our light is coming out of our laser at a 45 degree angle. Okay. So there's a few different ways that you can measure the light. You'll have to do this before. All right. Um, okay. Now we're going to go through and we're going to go ahead and measure the rest of the intensities of light before we... Um, before we mark that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and we've got our little intensity magnification here. So the beam of light being reflected off the surface is going to be 5.29%. Now, if you know anything about math, if we've got 100% um, going into the water, we've got 5.29 that doesn't make it into the water, this means that this should be around right, 94.71. So these two, um, our beam of light and our beam of light being reflected off the surface here add up to 100%. So if you have 100% of the light coming in, we really need to make sure that we account for all the light. All right, uh, so now we're gonna move our laser pointer so that we can change the degree of the incoming angle. So adjust the laser pointer so that it is only 10 degrees to the left of the zero mark or the dotted line. So this is right here is our dotted line. All right, I'm gonna, let me see. We can see about this, all right? So we know that it's not quite lined up at a zero, there we go. So this should be um, ideally 10%. So we know that the beam of light intensity before we hit the water, okay, so this is our laser pointed at a 10 degree angle from vertical, all right? Right, we've got 100% here, all right? Then we've got a beam of light in the water. Look, there's a slight bend, but it's pretty straight there. Okay, we've got, and, and look at that, 97. So we don't have that much that's being reflected. Sorry, I keep trying to click and I didn't realize it clicks away. All right, so 97.88%. Oh my goodness, there we go. All right, and of course, what's left over when our light... Ah, there's a baby cake, so it's away, if you can hear her. My apologies. I'm going to have to take a quick break when I hit the 15 minute mark and then do the other side. Um, you guys will have to, to be able to do. Um, so you guys get to pick on this side your different materials that you want to do. All right. All right. Um, so then we're going to go ahead to the 80% and we're going to see what that looks like. 
Um, once the laser pointer is in this location, move the protector tool back and then we'll fix. Oh, I was supposed to move the protector tool. All right, so if that's 90 right here, we need one big line right here, and that's going to give us. Ooh, look how, look how, look, you see the light as the light, as our angle increases, look at that, the amount of reflection, or refraction, I should say, is increased. All right, so the light coming in once again, we've established that it's 100% of the intensity, okay? All right, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and measure the light that is in the water, so our beam of light in the water right here, okay, is 58%, all right, and the beam of light that is being reflected, or refraction, this is refraction, this is reflection, is going to be 42.8%, all right, so based on what you observed, which we can go ahead and just see that again, okay? Based on what you observe, and you can see that the, the shading on our red laser pen, pen kind of changes. Describe the relationship between the angle of the incoming, so the direction that this is coming out of our laser, and the percentage of the light that is transmitted through the water versus the percentage that is reflected here. So this line is the reflected, this one is what is in our water, okay? so. Um, what do you think? I'm going to give a minute and get my head going. So what do you think would be the relationship between them? Okay, so I would start it with something like as the angle of incoming light increased, the percentage of light that was reflected Whoa. okay hold on this almost totally wrong was reflected uh, the percentage of light that was reflected increased um, now the all right so in here, we can address two things at once, the relationship. So as the percentage of the light that is reflected increase, that means that the percentage of light that is transmitted through the water decreases. Of the light that is transmitted through the water decreased as a result. Okay, so a relationship, we're talking about two different things. Most relationships are, you know, between two people, okay? You can't have a one-sided relationship. I mean, you can, but it's not really healthy. So this is going to be our healthy, you know, two-point relationship here. Um, so describe how angle of incoming light compares to the angle of light reflecting off the surface of a of water. So the angle of the incoming light compares to the angle of the light reflecting off the surface. What do you notice about these? Right? So if I've got the light coming in at 10 degrees, my reflecting light is also coming back at 10 degrees as well. Okay? So at 60, look at that, it also gets to 60. Right? At our 80 mark, it was also at 80. Right? I'm going to really quickly write this one before my time is up, and then you guys will be left to finish this on your own. So you're going to basically do the same thing that we just did, um, but you're going to do it with your own materials here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and say that um, the angle of incoming light matches the angle. Oops of the light reflected off of the surface. All right, 
there you go guys so that's the front page you guys can go through and just follow what we did on the front page read the directions it will give you the step by step all right see you guys later